welcome back to We Are City channel for FC 24 Manchester City career on into season 4 with a successful, really successful episode last time out. Wins against Leverkusen gets through to the next leg of the Champions League. We don't know who we've drawn yet. We've got big games and I'm not exactly sure how things are going today's episode. I'm certainly planning on playing Spurs away to start the episode and Newcastle at home in the Emirates FA Cup. But then Villa at home, Chelsea away, Manchester United away, I mean... Plenty going on still towards the end of this season. I think it's going to be a longer season than we've ever had before. Standings-wise, we're currently away off the top of the Premier League table, but with two games in hand, that win against Spurs, if we can get one today away from home, seventh place Spurs, to start the episode, will be massive. This is the Spurs side for Ange Postacoglu. Rested starts and goal is Aaron Hickey, William Saliba, Branthwaite and Mikalenko the back four. Miretti, Captain Veerman and Guido Rodriguez in the midfield three. With Kulosevsky on the right, Luis Diaz on the left and Kulomowani through the middle. Pau Torres, Patrick Schick, Pedro Porro. They've got Jonathan David, Brennan Johnson, Mano Solomon and Whiteman on the bench. Key attacking player is Kulomowani. Key defensive player is former Arsenal man William Saliba. But they're inconsistent Spurs down in seventh. Two losses, one loss, two draws, two wins in the last one. They've lost their last two, well, lost their, in their last two games, lost one and drawn one, which is very much in our favour. We've just come off the back of a big Champions League game against uh, Bayer Leverkusen, where we won 1-0. So we've got tied legs in there. This is starting to Edison starts in goal. It's Mateusz Nunes, Mark Goyi, Joshko Vardiol, and Callum Doyle on the back four. De Bruyne, Grish, and Zermendi in the midfield three. Liam Delap at striker with Doku on the right and Yellow Musiela on the left. On the bench, Julian Dahl, the hero from the Leverkusen game. Phil Foden back from injury, decreased again. And he's only 88 rated now. I mean, he was supposed to be in the plus 90s. He's down 88 again now, Phil Foden, unfortunately. Savio, Eze, Maximo Peron, Ruben Diaz, and Max Elaine join him on the bench. No Barco, no Stones, no Echivere, no Jan Cuto, no Alvarez or Rico Lewis in today's side. Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, where City historically have struggled here. City versus Spurs. Premier League action. City looking to try and catch up to league leaders Arsenal. A win here today would take us within one point of Arsenal, I do think. I believe, anyway. And then another win in the second game in hand would take us two points clear at the top of that Premier League table for Roberto Zerbi side. It's Spurs versus City. It's live from the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Guido Rodriguez, Kulosevsky, Hickey again. Doyle with it, it's across the far post here. Great chance in the volley. Big save, Medicine, and what a start here. Luis Diaz nearly scoring the former Liverpool man. They have started really well, Spurs. Ball ends up with Mendy away at the near post, only as far as William Saliba. Right into Grealish, nicely done. Jack Grealish for City. Here comes Grealish in the run here. It's reluctant to close him down, and Grealish finds a pass towards Leon de Lapp and Manchester City. Who've been under the cosh here in the first 15 minutes. Pounce on the counter. And 1-0 we lead Tottenham Hotspur. Big finish by the lap. Great assist by Grish. I don't know where William Saliba's going there. Torrey defending from the Frenchman. And Liam the lap. Bangs it in the top corner. That's a brilliant finish from the lap. Pass Restes. Into the top corner. He wants to be our second choice striker still next season. We are looking at striker. The lap saying, listen. Listen to Zerbi. I can be the man. Play by Spurs, Kulomowani, good footing by Goy, who keeps chasing. Can't win it, unfortunately. Kulomowani, lovely feet by Kulomowani. Kulomowani, good save by Edison. Sliding was Callum Doyle, lovely play by the Frenchman. Vardial in against Kulomowani. Advantage play, Kulomowani, lovely skill again. They're off again here, Spurs. Wide they go, Goy across. Poor defending by Goy. Chance for Spurs here, Doyle dives in. There is Kulomowani, what a save by Edison. Absolutely spectacular for Manchester City's goalkeeper. De Bruyne on the turn into Mateus Nunes' lovely ball. Here's Jeremy Doku through the middle. And he's trouble for Spurs here. And here is the very, very rapid and lively Jeremy Doku. And he's passed two or three challenges here. Doku down to his right foot. Jeremy Doku! No problem with that at all. Zubamendi and, and Roberto De Zerbi seeing his team do that. Into Grealish here. Zubamendi. In towards Musiala, what a ball. Yamal Musiala! Oh, he's put it wide. Ruben Diaz in there. To try and solidify things if he can do. Goy, beat him. Kulomowani. Ruben Diaz across. Kulomowani beats Ruben Diaz as if he's not there. Edison makes a big save. Ruben Diaz gets it away. How we haven't conceded here today, I don't know. Lovely place by, pace by Randall Kulomowani. Kulomowani still. Kulomowani still. Back heel. Well, if we get a clean sheet today, we've, we've absolutely scraped it. 
Chance for Spurs now. Miretti scores eventually. I can't say they don't deserve it. I cannot say they don't deserve it. Miretti scores to make it 1-0. Spurs, it feels like 1-1. One, one. He's been coming today. Space left. I mean, Ruben Diaz. As soon as Diaz gets in the field, we concede. I think it's ahead of him in the pecking order. Zumendi can't win it. Phil Foden goes in there to win it. Doku. Oh, God, Doku. Terrible pass. Spurs counter. Branthwaite. Chance for Spurs. Diaz can't clear off the line. Spurs take the lead. Jeremy Doku misses an absolute... Sitter of a pass and Luis Diaz goes up the other end and scores. And we're 2-1 down to Spurs here. Branthwaite through into Diaz. Matos Nunes is so tired out position. Lifted over Edison. Diaz can't stop it. 2-1. I'm never bringing Ruben Diaz on again. Good tackle by Goy. Good foul. In the right place, the right time. Advantage still going. Kulosevsky. Ruben Diaz, where are you going? Chance for Spurs. Big save from Eddie again. Best we can hope for is a drive, but what is Ruben Diaz doing since he's come on? Try to wriggle through a pocket of space there. Kulosevsky. And it's going to be a defeat at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It is a 2-1 defeat to Spurs to start the episode. Manchester City fumble it in the title race. 2-1 defeat to Spurs. Very disappointing. Very, very disappointing from the side. Well, big news here on Ruben Diaz's future. It's not going well with Roberto Izerbi at Manchester City, is it? It's just not working out. He doesn't seem to be performing. He's really out of form. He's not been playing. He's saying he wants to play, but when he plays, he's not playing well. And it looks like it's coming to that Ruben Diaz wants to move away from Manchester City in the summer. So he wants to move away. That might get agreed earlier rather than later. Maybe someone makes an offer for him before the end of the season and accepts it. But Diaz will be leaving the club. He wants out. And it just makes sense, really. And it's FA Cup quarterfinals up next. Newcastle United at home are the side we face. Other draws are Sunderland Spurs, United Leeds, Everton Chelsea. This is the Newcastle side. Almiron and Barnes in the wide area is close up top. It is Bentancom, Neto and Anderson in the midfield three. Jean Mario Marquinhos, Captain Lascelles and Sight the back four. Robin starts and goal. And look at that bench. Very strong. Tonali, Gavi, Balde, Openda, Up Meccano, Raya and Wilson. Really, really good Newcastle side. They have, however, lost two and drawn one of their last five games. This is time for Newcastle Day. Spike Britt starts and goal. It's Jan Kuto, John Stone, Josh Covardi and Barco at the back four. Captain Ibron, Eze, Enrico Luis the midfield three with a return from the injuries and the injury bench. It is Oscar Bobby is back and through the middle with Savi on the right and Indala on the left. On the bench we've got Phil Foden, Jan Musiala, Jack Willis, Supermendi, Maximo Perón, Callum Doyle and Maximo, um, Max Elaine. Still, I mean, the lap, Alvarez, Echeverde, Nunez and Goy very, very tired tonight included in today's squad. Off the coach, get the Manchester City players and the Newcastle players. Three in his last three games for Harvey Barnes going to this FA Cup quarter-final. Playing poor again today against Newcastle. A very good side. Stone skip past. What's going on here? Big save by Brits, but what are we doing at the back here? John Stones, of all people, he's usually so solid. Him and Vardy are really struggling there. Going to the far post. Free header and over the bar. And a foul and a free kick Newcastle's way of not... Entirely sure what for. Ball in. Header! Save by Spike Brits again. It's just like the Spurs game. City conceding chance after chance after chance right at the start of this one. Ball in. Free header again to the far post. And Newcastle take the lead. What a start this is, City. And it's Marquinhos at the far post. What a torrid start in the FA Cup quarter final. It's the far post. Bobbles in. Simple finish. Manchester City caught out. What are we doing? Look at space here. De Bruyne. KDB. De Bruyne through to Vardiol. From centre back. Vardiol! Save by the keeper of Kovic. And away by Marquinhos. Back on by Barnes. De Bruyne in there. Newcastle get it away. Stones down to Jan Kuto. And City go again. Vardiol. Valentin Barco on the volley. Just past the post by the fullback. Lovely run. In Savio. Back into Jan Kuto. Bob again. Bob, good feet. Oscar Bob once again. Lovely feet from Oscar Bob and a massive miss. This little drag by Bob there. And onto his right foot and he puts it wide. Oscar Bob. Bob in behind towards Dendala. What a ball by Oscar Bob. Joel and Dala. And Dala got the angle. Just off the leg of Marquinhos. Tried to bend it round him with the angle. Over to Savio. Savio for City under pressure. 
De Bruyne. Jan Kuto. Pulls it across the box here off the bar by Oscar Bob. Oh my word, what a miss. He cannot give De Bruyne space like that. Rico Lewis. Rico, look at Ndala. Oh, Rico. Still keeps it, Lewis. Still going here, Rico Lewis. Still going, Lewis. Still going, Rico Lewis. Rico Lewis! Oh, what a save by Robin. What a goal that would have been. Corner ball. De Bruyne in. Savio with a free header off the bar. Jan Kuto back in. Savio with the overhead kick and past the post. How have we not scored? Vardiol should win that all day long. He's made a meal of it. He's made an absolute mess of that Joshko Vardiol. And here's Holsek. And John Stones misses it. And Holsek on the end of it. Oh, and he's put it wide. Missed. Trying to run Barco here. Well done, Valentin Barco. Vardiol back to spike Brits. But Manchester City need to be well aware. They're running out of time here. They've made another mistake here, City. Will they be punished? Will they be punished? They will. 2 0 Newcastle. Anderson scores. Mistake by Brits and Stones, and we're punished. 2 0 Newcastle. It looks like we're going out in the quarter final here. How Stones and Lewis don't stop, I don't know. Brits being at his near post. FA Cup quarter finals. We've had the chances. We've missed them. Musiala. Immediate impact from Yamal Musiala here. Musiala. Oh, what an impact this could be. Musiala. Off the bench, Musiala. That's what this man does. One of the best in the world. 2-1. Come on. Straight away just turns and I drive the opposition. They can't get anywhere near Yamal Musiala. And he's on them straight away to score. 2-1. City back in this one straight away. Yamal Musiala. The superstar. He's like against the, the shot, the pass. Grealish. De Bruyne. De Bruyne. De Bruyne! Off the post and in 2-2. There's your captain stepping up when you need him. 2 all. It's Kevin De Bruyne with a finish. Brilliant goal from Kev. 2-2. Two -two. Into that space, De Bruyne. And he lets fly. And again, it's another shot that's slightly wide. But it's off the post and in. It's a difficult one to keep out for Robin. He, he never can do. Well, he should have won that. Drown Mario passed Doyle too easy. Drown Mario. To the far post. Harvey Barnes. Spike Brits makes a big save. Massive save by Spike Brits. Celebrated by him and Vardio. Newcastle looks short. Near post cross. We'll see how they're in there. Up Meccano. Slice it wide as the Frenchman. Newcastle come forward. That's the three minutes up. Is it extra time penalties or is it a replay? I won't be playing the replay, I don't think. I think it's going to be full time. We'll have to see it two all. Frustrating. Frustrating. No one can get the win. Oh, Mario chased by Yama Musiala. They get it away easy enough. Zumamendi in there. Big challenge by Zumamendi. Here's Musiala. Over to Savio. Savio on the volley here. Robbie makes the save behind for a corner. Good chance for City here in extra time. De Bruyne. De Bruyne. Doyle. Cross him. Grealish is there away. Newcastle in. Musiala fighting for it. Musiala shoots. Blocked away by Newcastle behind for a corner. De Bruyne to swing another one in. He does do. Aggressively. Stones is there. What a save by Robin. Unbelievable save by the Newcastle keeper. Into Phil Foden. Foden. Up to Musiala. Musiala back. Grealish on the volley here. Off the inside of the post and away. It's by Elaine. Space of Entancourt. Max Elaine check. What a challenge by Max Elaine. And here's Phil Foden past Marquinhos. And Phil Foden on his return. And Phil Foden on his return off the crossbar. Play it short here, Newcastle. For Tenali. He wants to hit it, Tenali. Vardio blocks it. It falls up Meccano. What a save by Spike Brits. Then zoom Endy away, Foden. Down to Musiala. Back to Phil Foden. Counter Manchester City. Last attack of the game here. Foden in behind to Yamal Musiala. And Manchester City in. And it's Yamal Musiala. And it's Yamal Musiala saved by Robin the keeper. Crossed in. Blocked away by Balde. Full time whistle goes. It will be penalties in the FA Cup. What an exciting quarter final this has been. But I don't know how Manchester City haven't booked themselves in the final there with that chance from Musiala. So many misses today from both sides. So penalties it is, and Kevin De Bruyne will step up first for Manchester City. Top left against Robin. Top left dispatched by KDB. 
Spike breaks the chance to be a hero. Callum Wilson, who came on to take the penalties. Wilson! Off the post and in. Good penalty. Savio is next. Savio, the Brazilian. Top right-hand corner. Saved by Robin, who's been brilliant today, the keeper. Ben Tancourt. Save. No. Down the middle by Ben Tancourt. John Stone to Manchester City. Into the top right-hand corner. Good finish by Stones. João Mario. He needs to save one here, Spike Brits. Mario down the middle. Confident. Vardiol. Bottom left save by Robin. And Spike Brits has got to save this one. City are out the quarter-final stage. Hulsek scores. Newcastle are through. And we've only ourselves to blame here. Chance after chance missed. Newcastle knock us out the FA Cup. Manchester City and Roberto De Zerbi out at the quarter-final stage. And that is a massive disappointment for this City side and City's new manager. Out we go. We will be going no further. Penalty from Adam Holsek is the difference. City lose again. Well, the defence is certainly an area we're looking towards improving the best we can. And when a full-back to back up Barco and compete with him because Calum Doyle isn't really a left-back, is German Lucanets playing for Sevilla in La Liga. 25 appearances so far this season, two goals and two assists. This dynamic young full-back seamlessly combines defensive prowess with attacking flair, exceptional speed, precise tackling and a depth positioning 45 the back wide. While incisive runs, accurate crosses and intelligent link-up play showcase offensive versatility. He seems like a really, really top talent. He's one that's been linked with City in the past. I think City wanted him before he moved to Borussia Mönchengladbach. He's now in uh, Spain with Sevilla. He's, he's doing really well in the league. I mean, two goals and two assists from fullback is impressive. Uh, Doyle's not and really an out-and-out -out fullback. And if we can make transfers, if, the, if the, the transfer window is open for Manchester City, which it might not be, then Luka Nets is certainly a player on my list of fullbacks to be tied to. Well, Ruben Diaz has officially asked to leave the club. He said... Enough is enough. His time is up at Manchester City and he wants to move on. And we've had two offers straight away coming for him. One from Newcastle United for 130.7 million and one from Manchester United at 137.2 million. Well, the first thing is that Manchester United will not be getting Ruben Diaz. No way is he going to Manchester United. But Newcastle, we will entertain. It said there we could get over 165 million for Ruben Diaz. Wow, I mean, the fact that you can get that sort of money for a player who's hardly played this season, who's just not been very good at all. But we, to sell to a Premier League side, to sell to a Premier League side like Newcastle United, we're going to have some big money. So 170 million straight off. They're saying 130. You're going to have to, I think, a, a, Premier, a side outside the Premier League, I'll sell them much cheaper. But to a Premier League side, you're going to have to pay big. 165 million. No, Newcastle fall out of love with that deal, as Manchester United do as well. Uh, we've got negotiations between Lazio and Roma, both looking to sign Yamal Baptiste on loan for next season. But Ruben Diaz, I'm not letting him go to Premier League side. That is one thing I want to say to Ruben. I think he won't want to go to Premier League side either. And there's confirmation Yamal Baptiste will join AS Roma for the next season on loan, which will be a good move for him and to continue his development. Whilst the Villa up next, we came away with a 3-1 win at home for Manchester City. Goal scoring opportunity opened by De Bruyne in the 31st minute, then Phil Foden in the 60th, Zaniolo scored in the 70th minute, it was Alvarez in the 78th to finish the game off. Man of the match goes to Phil Foden with 8.4 rating, his first start since his return. That is good to see him back and back in the start 11 and hopefully can put those injuries behind him because he's had too many injuries, Phil Foden. And there is Ruben Diaz confirmed, 165 million he will leave Manchester City in the summer permanently, moving to AC Milan in a £165 million deal. Shame to see Diaz go. Clearly a lot of money they have in, in Italy, and they're willing to let him go. We've lost him. It's a big shame, but he just hasn't been the level for Manchester City this season, and he's not getting game time, and he's not happy. Well, two games to end today's episode are against, firstly, 10th place Chelsea, and then third place Manchester United. We're one point off the top of the Premier League table, level on games with Arsenal, the league leaders, the title race with 10 games remaining now is certainly heating up. Pre-match report for Chelsea shows they have won four and lost one of their last five games, getting back to their best. Alex Romero, Marcus Edwards, Bergonio, Raheem Sterling, Conor Gallagher, Petrovic and Peters on the bench. It is Diogo Costa in goal with Sessegnon, Diamande, De Sarsi and Gertrude the captain of the back four. Maria Sangari, Enzo Fernandez and Mudruk in the midfield with Christopher Nkunku in behind for Fanner up top. The key attacking players are Mudruk and Enzo and the key defensive players 
is Diamande in that back line. A very strong Chelsea side, somehow still in 10th position. Well, fitness issues for Julian Alvarez mean he doesn't get in the side again today. I don't know what's going on. Foden, Eze, Barco and Z uh, Goy not quite sharp either. So Edison will start and go with Jan Kuto, John Stones, Joshua Vardy and uh, Callum Doyle, the back four. Captain De Bruyne, Jack Rish and Rico Lewis in the midfield three. Eci Vene striker with Docker on the right and Mosiara on the left. On the bench, Delap and Dalat, Savio Zubimendi, Nunez, Maxwell Perone and Max Alley. So Stamford Bridge awaits. We are looking to keep the pressure on Arsenal. Lead the lead league by just one point. Just one point in that title race that they lead. With 10 games remaining, plenty can happen towards the end of the season. I mean, even Manchester United could come up. We'll have to see. It is City versus Chelsea. It's Stamford Bridge. It's title race for City. It's your Europe, Europe race for Chelsea. From De Bruyne. Chelsea play out that situation pretty well. Enzo Fernando through the mill towards. And Kunku. Rallacona from Vardy. Maria. Through here to Fafana. Fafana looks to shoot. Chance for Chelsea. Poke towards that near post. Good save from Eddie. Still a chance for Chelsea. Gertrude on the turn. Edison makes the save. Edison decides not to pick that one up. Into Yama Musiala. Musiala, good feet initially. Dragged it straight into the Chelsea player in the end. And Kunku wide towards Mudruk. Vardil can't stop him. Mudruk. Mudruk. Fafana with a chance and Chelsea take the lead. Another goal conceded. We've been so poor in today's episode time and time again. And now it's Fafana who scores. Good finish by Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. Fafana with only his eighth of the season. But I don't understand why I've been so bad in today's episode. Alvarez has yet to really make an impact because he can't play at all. It's just not been fit in today's episode. Here's Jan Musiala. Over to Echivere. Nice take. Echivere! Oh, what a terrible finish. Echivere. Claudio Echivere for Manchester City. Echivere. Great skill. Echivere! Oh, big save by Costa. Lovely run by Echivere. City can't score. Swung in by De Bruyne. John Stone's in there. Mudruk heads it away. Dell back on towards De Bruyne. To the far post. Yankuto! What a save by Costa. Rico Lewis. Echivere, good run. Echivere, lovely finish by Echivere. That is spectacular from Claudio Echivere. Someone who we wouldn't say is a natural finisher. Especially the chance he misses. He's not an out-and-out -out striker. He's more of a creative midfielder. We've, we've played him at striker plenty of times. That's a lovely finish here. It's fled by Rico Lewis and he just lifts it over. Nice little death chip. Lovely touch. Lifts it over the goalkeeper, Costa. Beautiful finish by Echivere. Manchester City equalise here. Into Musiala. Who's through here? Musiala. Echivere. Echivere! Rolls it wide again. And that is his problem. Finishing those chances half time. All level with Chelsea. That's what's worrying me a little bit. De Bruyne. Bad pass by Stones. He's straight back in there to win it. Rico Lewis. I don't know where Rico Lewis is going there. But he's just given Chelsea a chance now. And Kunku. Vardy across. Chance for Chelsea, who take a 2-1 lead. What is that from Rico Lewis? Forgets to run after the ball. Vardyl can't stop it, and Chelsea back in the lead. We have to work so hard, so, so hard to get the lead. And the opposition just two shots and two goals. Rico Lewis, lovely challenge. Trying to make up for mistakes here. Musiala, Grealish, De Bruyne. Jan Kuto, down. Jeremy Doku equalises for 2-2. Big goal by Doku. Come on, City. Conceding way too many goals at the moment. Mistakes, individual mistakes to the back. But that's a big goal for City. Lovely run by Jan Kuto on the overlap. Pull back to Jeremy Doku, who's in the box. And he finished off a good chance there, Doku. Very good finish. He's suggesting John Stone to Max Alain. Echivere. Doku. Lovely turn by Jeremy Doku. And here is Doku, the Belgian. Doku. Back to Grealish and a save by Costa. Perone oh, in behind to Endala. Bad ball. Really bad ball. It had to be into that channel, that space in behind. Didn't come off. One in behind here towards Marcus Edwards. Up against Vardiol. And he's initially got past Vardiol here. Marcus Edwards. Oh, Vardiol, big challenge. Still going here. Edison out of position. Chelsea take the lead again, Manchester City. What a shocking episode this has been. Good tackle by Vardyel, but where is Eddie going? I don't know. 
Chelsea easily play their way out. Vardy tries to foul for fan of the goal scorer. Oh, he's past the lane. And here's Fafana, who's on a hat trick here. He's on for his fourth of the game here. Fafana dinks it over Edison. What a finish 4 2, Chelsea. That's game. Well, I think we're out the title race today, aren't we? A defeat to Spurs and now a defeat to Chelsea. 4 2 down to Pochettino's side. Premier League title feels like it's not coming our way. Mateus Nunes. And that is full time. City lose. 4 2 to Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. And the title continues to slip away for Fana with four against us today. With Manchester City struggling, Roberto De Zerbi could be looking to add some more familiar familiarity to his squad. And a player you look, that he's very familiar with eh, and looking to bring in is Julio Cesar and Cisco, the left winger, right winger, striker, but in behind the striker, central midfielder. Played all over, didn't he, for Roberto De Zerbi at Brighton. 29 appearances, 9 goals, 11 assists. Really excellent at Brighton this season. He's a versatile midfielder, excels both wide and central. Tenacious, skillful and quick, displaying creativity. A constant threat from range, blending defensive grit with attacking prowess a dynamic prospect with promising potential has played in our style under our manager before and that's a big key selling point is it for Julian Cisco and not only that is that I like his tenaciousness I like the intensity he brings to teams he reminds me a little bit of Carlos Tevez when he was at Manchester City he's a player that fans do love for his, his performances so he's certainly one to look out for and certainly one that uh, Roberto De Zerbi is looking out for the future and maybe one that Manchester City make a move for the only issue I think we have is Trying to agree a deal with Brighton. They'll want a lot of money. And I'm not sure we want to spend big money when we've already got lots of players in those attacking areas. Well, guys, I have to take a break from the episode because I was playing so poorly, I didn't want to jeopardise this career mode, which is a really, really exciting title race. We're on 65 points. Five points off league leaders Arsenal with for us nine games to go with a game in hand. We face United at Old Trafford on 62 points. The title race is very much on and there's still four teams in it. This could be a massive Manchester derby, this one couldn't really, in terms of the title race. This is the Manchester United side on Nana starts and goal. It's Potasio Boy. They've got Lissandro Martinez, Rudiger and Kirikez, the back four. João Neves and Fiorentino Luis in the midfield two, with Captain Bruno Fernandes in front. Anthony on the right, Nico Williams on the left, and Vita Roque through the middle. Mount Pope, Aretho, McTominay, Lindelof, Nagalo, and Rijkov on the bench. They're being consistent. A lost a drawing there. Three wins as well, but look at that 90 attacking ability because Vita Roque and Bruno Fernandes are key attacking players. Key defensive player is Lissandro Martinez at the back. Well, we've got some super tight legs. This is the side we go with Edison starts and goal. It's Jan Kuto, Captain Stones, Goy and Barco, the back four. Foden, Eze and Zermendi in the midfield three with Liam the Lappert striker, Savi on the right and Doku on the left. On the bench, Alvarez, Musiala, De Bruyne, Grealish, Vardiol, Doyle and Rico Lewis. Big players missing out as well. Players tired. Players not fit. We'll go with what we've got. So there is the Sir Alex Ferguson stand. This is Old Trafford. It is a title race game. City, Liverpool, Arsenal, Manchester United on the title race. An exciting one. It's Roberto De Zerbi's Manchester City. Highlights from previous games here with Guardiola in charge. Manchester City against United. Get long to Jeremy Doku. Doku takes it. Great quality Doku. And that's brilliant quality. And he's played in Liam Delap here. And off comes Liam Delap. And Delap here for City. Delap! 1-0 Manchester City Old Trafford. It's Liam Delap with a goal. And that's a massive one from Liam Delap. Brilliant finish from Delap. 1-0 we lead here. Big bit of play. Delap is in. Delap puts it in that far corner. Found by Doku. Delap scores. He's seventh of the season in 16 games. A big goal at Old Trafford for Liam Delap. Manchester City take the lead here. Big goal and a big game. Oh, a great flick on out here by Vita Rock into Bruno Fernandes here. Bruno Fernandes, the angle is narrowed by Edison. Back to Bruno Fernandes, who shoots again and scores this time. Captain Fernandes scores for United. How frustrating. Saved by Eddie. This head is so poor by Jan Cuto. And it's back in by Fernandes. It's there for Sabio. Savio gets there, pulls it back. Somebody on the edge of the box, no one there. And County United again, and it's Nico Williams, who's got bags of pace. And he'll take on Stones, who's nowhere near as quick as the Spaniard. And Williams is through it. And Nico Williams dinks it over Edison and puts it over the bar. Bruno Fernandes chased by Stones, Jan Cuto in there as well. Here's Nico Williams. Pass Jan Cuto, pulls it across the box to Vita Roque. Who puts it through the legs of goalkeeper Edison. That's poor from Eddie. 
Makes a goal for the opposition. Oh, Eddie. 2-1 United lead here at Old Trafford. Docu. Eze. Good feet by Eze. And Jeremy Doku. Nice turn by Doku. Jeremy Doku! 2-2. Two -two. Brilliant goal by Doku. City back level. Come on. Nice play by Eze. Instant reply from Manchester City. It's Jeremy Doku. Great turn here away from Rudiger. That's a brilliant strike by the Frenchman. Across Onana. Who's got no chance. Come on. 2-2. Two -two. Big game at Old Trafford. Goals conceded like fun for Manchester City. We can't do much about it. We can't make signings. Right to Savio. He's been quiet today on this far side. Savio. He's away from Milos Kirikes here. And Savio plays Eze. And Eze is up against Antonio Rudiger. And Eze's past Rudiger. And Eze. Back towards Savio. 3-2 Manchester City. Brilliant by Savio and Eze. And City in front of the derby. What a game. This is at Old Trafford to end the episode. Good play by Eze. Brilliant from Eze. Back to Savio. He's arriving. Back in that left-hand corner, which Onana doesn't seem to be able to get well, down well to. Fourth goal of the season for Savio. Manchester City in front at Old Trafford 3-2. Back into the lap. Lays one off. Foden is waiting. Deflects before it finds Foden. Vita Roque brings it away. Here's Nico Williams, the road runner. Rapid. He's trying to run stones. He does do. He's just so quick. So powerful. Nico Williams. Oh, Goy. Brilliant from Mark Goy. Look at Rico. Lewis go. Found Rico. Rico into the lap. Makes it stick the lap. Good touch. Leon the lap of the strike. Good save by Onana. Oh, and finished by Jeremy Doku for 4-2. Come on. Celebration in front of the Old Trafford fans for Jeremy Doku. Manchester City. Lead here. Good save by Onana. Oh, but Doku is waiting. That's a really good finish. Fardio. Probably needs to come on for Stones now. He's tired. Look at the stamina of our team. Doku with a late one on behind from on Jeremy Doku. City so get away with it. Here's a Mendy and through to Julian Alvarez. Here. And Alvarez. Trouble. Alvarez. Doku again. Blocked on the line. He's going to the bottom corner. He's picked up an injury, Jeremy Doku. From the referee here at Old Trafford. Bruno Fernandez in. Edison punches once again. Grealish against Rudiger. Full time whistle goes. Manchester City with a win at Old Trafford. That's a big one. 4 2 victory for City. Three points for Roberto Zerbi's side. And we're happy with that. Another match award goes to Jeremy Doku with two goals and assists today. Hopefully, that injury is not too bad. That ends today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please like the video if you haven't already. Please do subscribe to the channel if you are new. And we'll see you guys next time.